And the National Weather Service has a new tool to accurately predict rip currents. This could be a game changer when it comes to saving lives, especially after what's been a deadly year out on the Great Lakes. Fox 6's Sam Kramer joins us live tonight near McKinley Beach, which is already closed, Sam, for the season due to safety reasons. Yeah, Stephanie, it was still closed at last summer. You can see the gates now in Milwaukee County spending $80,000 to study this area after several swimmers drowned here last year. Now, there's hope this new technology, when it reaches the Great Lakes, will actually help prevent some of those deaths. But experts say preparing to be safe at the beach actually begins before you get here. Between choppy waves and near freezing wind chills at the end of May in Wisconsin. It's very, very windy out there. Waves are supposed to get up to like 7 to 10 feet. Really not good conditions for swimming. In a Mark Kavinsky, a lead forecaster at the Milwaukee National Weather Service office, says this is where analyzing data along the lakefront can save lives, especially from rip currents as demonstrated here, where green dye in the water flows away from shore. Analyzing wind, water, and waves. A new NWS model is helping predict these currents on our nation's coasts. But for the Great Lakes, Kavinsky is hoping it will assess more than just rip currents. As the, uh, the water is moving along the shore, it intersects with a break wall or pier, and then it gets forced along that break wall and pier, and then forced out into the uh, open waters of the lake. He's describing structural currents, which are more common here than rip currents. As Ozaukee County Emergency Management Scott Ziegler notes, they're deceptive and dangerous. As those currents can occur and you would have no visual cue on the surface that they're there. So ahead of the unofficial start to summer, even though the weather may say otherwise, both experts stress preparing before you get to the beach, checking the forecast or warning systems like this at Port Washington South Beach to protect yourself from currents. You want to keep uh, beachgoers safe. Now, in an average year, there are 12 deaths, 23 rescues on across all Great Lakes related to these currents. But last year, those statistics skyrocketed 28 deaths. 58 rescues again, prompting those safety warnings as we head into Memorial Day weekend. We're live tonight on the lakefront. Sam Kramer, Fox 6 News. It'll be interesting to learn their findings once they have them. Sam, thank you.